all right guys making a quick video today so we got some goodies in so finally thanks to fabrico um yeah i finally got the annex k3 motor kit and also space gray frame so i'm excited for this build i like the space gray um of course i had to wait a couple of weeks for it because the the space gray didn't come with the ld the prior ldo shipment so i decided to wait because i like the space gray look it's so nice looking guys like this is gonna make a night for a nice k3 build um don't know what the theme or color yet that's something to decide in the background but i think it'll be nice keep in mind i'm also going to be live streaming this now i'm not going to become a full-time live streamer like nero or steve you know i just live stream live stream certain bills that i think will you know to differentiate from the crowd um but i'll still keep my video format and my how to keep you know how to's um with clipper and stuff keep coming in you know i i, I like to change my stuff up um you know but this one I'm ex excited for from last year from when I did the live stream on the Iron Man. I did promise you guys that I've been subscribed for a long time that I really wanted to do a, a K3 build on stream because I think this is a cool printer. Um, not only that, but there's something different, you know, something totally different um, than what, you know, with the Vorons, the Rat Raids and all that. This is just different. And I wanted to highlight a build like this. Since no one has live streamed a build like this before, it'd be nice to be the first channel to attempt to do that. And just to create a community around this one too, because I really like this, um, the K3. The, just the fact that it's a blazing fast printer, um, you know, 20K, 15K acceleration, some insane speed. It's a very small build volume though, not super small, but like 180 by 180, which is fine. You know, again, it's just gonna be printing like ABS and stuff like that. Little small prints, you know, speed benchy kind of, fine, kind of thing. But just wanna let you guys know that it's serious, that it's, it's here, I'm excited. I can't contain my excitement, man. So, got a bunch of linear rails as well. Um, I could have bought this from Fabrico too, but I like to kind of self-source my thing too. I don't just like to buy kits all all together. Especially, I like to see the price too. I like to check prices. I don't want to have to buy something for let's say two hundred dollars if I can get it slightly cheaper on Amazon or whatnot. So I like to self-source certain things. Got some other stuff for it. There's a few more things to come in, like the heated bed, um, heated plates. Um, I'm waiting for. I'm gonna be using a dragon. Um, Dragon Ultra, um, um, Ultra Eye Flow for this one. So the, the, that's a new one, the 2022 Fadus Dragon Ultra Eye Flow. That's what I'm going to be using with this build. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are going to the um, the Revo type of thing. I don't really, I like the Fadus ecosystem. Like I've said, I probably said it in the previous video. I really like the Fadus stuff. They haven't let me down, especially with the Rapido, and I have another Rapido in there. Um, that really hasn't let me down. Honestly, Fado stuff has been working great for me. So I'm, I don't want to leave that ecosystem for something else. So, you know, again, I, I, I also, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of guy that don't like to follow hype either. When people overhype things, I tend to go the opposite direction. So I'm not about the hype thing, you know, when people overhype and um, change their position on certain things. No, I'm sticking with Fado's on this one. Unless they start messing up really bad, I'm sticking with Fado's in terms of hot end um you know but yeah so let me see there's, there's something else i wanted to show i almost forgot here so yes and so not only is the k3 projects coming and i have to rebuild this i'll probably do this on like a video series because i did build this on a live stream last year but now that i'm going to rebuild it change up it's still going to be joker but i'm changing up a couple of things in terms of color this will be umbilical like i said in my last update video um so look out for that i'm just gonna do it in a video series um with that one um this one now i know people have asked how i mounted my um my bed so keep in mind this is a six millimeter thick um this is going to be torn down I, I don't use it honestly i rather keep the board it's using an xkr2 uh, board in it um so i'm gonna break this down put stuff away keep the linear rails and everything um that's spare i'm just gonna break this down because i'm not using it and i would sell it 
but right now i think you know i'm just gonna garnish it to use it on this machine here so i'm probably gonna put everything away put what i don't need to use and just yeah, put it aside i'll um, put the, the spare part so and if i wanted to build something else in the future with it i have tons of extrusion or whatever to build whatever out of fancy printer that may come out our custom build printer but to get to the point so as far as mounting so as you can see here i created this way back in 2020 when i just got into tinkercad i made these two uh mgm 12h linear rail kind of adapter out of pla and it holds up because this thing i don't get beyond 70 degrees with this thing it's really it's really just print PTG and PLA at this point. So um, the actually surprising the PLA have hauled up. And again, it's away from the bed. I also have the heat shielding here. So not a lot of heat hits it and um, it's been running good. But um, same thing here with the mounts. As you can see, it's the same type of mounting. But um, what I decided to do is I'm gonna revamp this, um, this, uh, how should I put it? This switch wire. Um, main reason why, even though I have the ERFC stuff mounted, all this is going to get redone, not redone, but personally just kind of the wiring and everything. Um, I'm going to turn this into an Ender 3 V2 switch wire conversion per se. I want it to, to enclose. I want it to kind of look more official. Um, um, so, and that's what was bothering me about this build. Like I like it. It's a switch wire in technicality, but it doesn't look complete. So for me now, I ordered, as you can see, these are 4040 extrusion. They're pretty cheap, so not 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 a big upgrade. So honestly, take me about it cost me hundred dollars for all three of these. So two 400 millimeter and a 500 millimeter, and I'm replacing these two, and it's gonna look exactly like uh, like a, like just it's gonna look exactly like a, how should I put it like a bigger ender three essentially um so i'm gonna go for that route go for that look so that way i don't have that front panel in the front it's gonna look enclosed and look exactly like your typical switch wire would look um and using the dual um 400 millimeter rails and everything i'm still going to be using everything like normal um but yeah i i'm super excited um to do it this way um so when so that's gonna be something that i'm also gonna do a video series on i don't think i'm gonna live stream it just because everything is right it's right off the top of my head at the moment i will be using someone that is better than me at cad to um extend the skirts out for me and to make it match and make everything fit so um if anybody's interested in, a, in in something like this to do a bigger size end of three ish kind of conversion switch wire ish then I'll provide the SDLs at that moment once I'm done with the bill and everything looks good. But that's what I wanna do. I wanna redo this so it looks like a proper switch wire, proper conversion, enclosed, looking much cleaner and neater, and then print out the cabbage patch to manage the spool. Again, this works great. I just haven't printed on it because I wanted to manage the spools a bit better um, and get rid of those ghetto spools and this ghetto mount. So all this will be changed. So again, this is a whole project that's a whole project and then this is a whole project now after that i'll see what comes after i'm always doing little things in the background but again this is just a quick video to update you guys that this thing is it's here the k3 bill is partially here just need a few more stuff um to get in the background and then i'm happy i also did order the paneling kit from fabrico i didn't want to cut out my own metal and all that stuff i don't really have tools for that type of thing so i ordered that whole paneling kit and everything that goes with it so it looks official um so this is an official bill i just noticed on this guys that these are a 0.9 degree stepper i didn't realize that these these long <laughs> uh these steppers are 0.9 so these things are gonna scream a lot i'm not a big fan of 0.9 to be honest with you guys um, I prefer 0 .8 degree, the, the 0 0.8 degree stepper, especially when Vez made the comparison between the 0.8 and the, um, the 1.8 and the 0.9, and there's literally no difference other than the 1.8 having more torque and not much different in terms of act. Um, uh, how should I put it? Not much difference in terms of accuracy. I prefer the 0.9 for just for more torque. You know, the torquier the motor, the better it is. You know what I'm saying? So these things are going to scream. It makes sense when I watch the K3 videos while that, you know, why it's screaming so much is because these are 0.9. They make a lot of noise. And um, so honestly, if I could get these longer shaft in 0.8, I'll probably go 0.8. I, I prefer 0.8 degree motors. 
um, 1.8, sorry, not 0.8, but 1.8 degrees stepper motors are perfect for those. That's all I use on my machine. So these are really my first set of 0.9 degrees motors. And um, we'll see how it goes. But like I said, they, these things are loud. They make a lot of noise and I, I, I prefer 1.8 to, to these things. So, but anyways, no big deal. I'm just sticking to the stock bill. If this is what the stock bill called for, that's fine. We'll work with it. Space gray frame. So like I said, a couple more things in the shipment to come in, hot end, bed, that type of thing. And then we can start with the bill from there on. I got to print, start printing some parts. I haven't started doing that yet. So a lot of work to do in the background before I even, even think about live streaming. But I would say if I, if I should give a guesstimate, give me another month or two, month and a half like or so, you know, just to get everything in, just to get prep. I don't want to rush this and, and, and mess up the live stream and, you know, trying to force everything in. I just want to do this properly. So just bear with me, guys. It's coming. Um, but yeah. But that's the update. That's all I had to say. I want to show you real quick. Um, for some reason, YouTube wouldn't allow me to post a picture in the community feed thing. I did post one picture of the TikTok bill, but it 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 it, it won't allow me to post any more picture, which is kind of weird. So I decided to make this video to let you guys know that the K3 stuff is kind of here, halfway at least. So a few more things, and then yeah, I'm excited. So i see you guys on the next one so peace happy father's day to you guys out there um remember to like and subscribe to my channel i appreciate you guys can't wait to hit 2000 subscriber it's slowly creeping but it's fine you know again i'm not in a rush i'm not trying to be this big youtuber or anything i just want to share my passion with you guys and those who love my channel love what i do so i appreciate you guys see ya peace